And I'm going to bring uh, some meatballs, the old spaghetti and meatballs, just a little bolognese. It's pretty simple. I've, I've actually pre made these. So I had a fair bit of leftover uh, pork and beef and when I was making some uh, beef patties and pork patties for the Barbie. Um, and I thought, well, I'll just make it up into little balls. Now, you could put these uh, in oil, but I'm going to bake them. So I've got the oven on at the moment for. Uh, just heating up, so that's at about 180, 200 degrees, and we're going to cook these for about 12 minutes. See how we go. Now spread them out because they, they kind of will um, move around a bit in terms of that moisture. Now what you might do, I might do a spoon. Um, what you're better off to do is uh, put a little bit of baking paper down, just so it doesn't spread it. Now I've also got capsicum in here. I put in some cheese. I mixed it up a little bit when I did those burgers. Um, and you want these to fry off, so as opposed to doing them to oil, you could have done it just in oil, but I'm just gonna fry them off in the oven. Uh, you could do them in an air fryer, uh, however you wanna do. And then I'm just gonna do it with a, like a little tomato sauce, and I'll mix that up and I'll show you as well. Now I've also got the water on for some spaghetti. You can see a little bit of liquid in there, that's fine. Um, and we'll dump it on the spaghetti as well. It's beautiful. Uh, bread, got some bread going, spaghetti, these look great. You want to just get them back into their shape again, it doesn't matter. Now once we've got these fried off, so about set of 12 or so minutes to get them a little bit brown in the oven, what we'll do is we'll then put them in a kind of tomato based sauce, which you can see that are tomatoes, and I'm also going to put a, just a tiny bit of bicarb cider, because sometimes what happens is the uh, Sauce gets a little bit, um, uh, well, it, it gets a little bit um, soury, so I'd like to put that bicarb just to sort of break up that acid a little bit. Now, see how we go. We might uh, see if I can skip squeeze a few more of those in there. Just give yourself a bit more space. As I said, put the oven going. Great little balls there. Now you could have also, there's heaps of ways you can do this. You could even roll, I, I didn't put any um, crumbs in it, bread crumbs, but you could put bread crumbs in these. Give them a nice little bit of extra flavour as well. And that lightens them up a bit too. But I didn't do that because I was making burgers. So you could do that. There's, there's heaps of kind of ways to play around these, which I love. Now we're gonna squeeze all those in and essentially just whack them in the oven. See if we can find some space for a couple of those little babies. So all of a sudden Bobby's interested. Ripper two. And my mate. Yep. Okay. So what I might do is uh, get you coming here. And I'm just gonna show you how to make this sauce. I'm just gonna get some stuff done. Now with also get it right in, nice and hot. With also, watch out Bobby. Um, let's get this on. Just to make that kind of nice base tomato sauce. I've got uh, the water boiling for the spaghetti. I'm not putting a bit of salt in it. Okay, so whack a sort of small little bit of, bit of salt and give that really salty flavour. That's what you want with this, this blader. I'm just going to bring some of this over here. Just a bit of sauces. Let that heat up for a second. Tomato. You don't have to go too elaborate with the sauce because you remember you've got all the flavour sitting in your actual uh, meatball, so it's warming up. But you want it to kind of sit, so what we're going to do is take them out, we're going to put them in there and just kind of soak up some of those juices a little bit as well. So again, you don't have to go too much other than just the old can or jar of sauce. Sometimes what I like to do is just a little squeeze it more in there to get that last bit. And we'll just mix that up. Okay, so that's just going to heat up slowly. And whilst that does, we'll wait for those to go for about 12 minutes. I'll get my pasta on, we'll get that all kind of going, and then we'll show you what it looks like when we get them out and you put them in and just bring it all together.
Okay, what you can see, I just put a tiny bit of that bicarb in just to take away that kind of acidity from the tomato. Just a little bit, you don't have to put much, literally uh, a quarter of a teaspoon will do it. See that's just heating up nicely. So you don't need to boil that. So we'll turn that off and we'll wait for our meatballs. I've got my spaghetti in, just lots of water, lots of salt in that, and let that go. A little bit of uh, coriander as well, we'll get going some bread. Beautiful, see you soon. Okay, now the spaghetti's done. I don't know if you know spaghetti, don't leave it in the water because it starts to get really soggy. Okay, so now I've got the sauce there, it's kind of done. I'll put some garlic bread in. Let's get some of these out, so I'll get, just step back. We can turn this off now, it's been, on, it's been about 12 minutes. Step back, let the heat come out. Now remember, there was a lot of cheese on these, or in these, so you'll see that, which is absolutely fine, you'll see the cheesiness sitting in those, which is beautiful. Be careful getting that, that tray out. I'm prone to burning the top of my fingers, so let's just make some space there. Put that away. And what we want to do is just pick those up, beautiful. Let's turn this back on. So this is just going to soak up those beautiful flavours of the meatballs. So you can see they're nice and nice and cooked there. Rip up. They look like little oysters. And so this is all we're doing. So uh, we'll put those in, put that extra cheese in, you can see there. Beautiful. Now you could have just done beef. These were, as I said, pork and beef. So that's why it's a little bit light, the colour of the meat. But they look fantastic. I'll scrape some of that cheese up as well. So, with the other one, same thing. Putting them in. Then we're going to mix these around. I'll let that just sit for a couple of minutes, not long, because it's all cooked. But just allow some of those juices to soak around those crispy meatballs there. Beautiful. And the only other thing I'm doing is going to put some of that beautifully fresh coriander, cut that up in there as well. Okay, a sprig of that coriander just to give that extra flavour, which is so nice. And we'll mix that through. So I'm going to plate that up, show you what it looks like, and that's your meatballs with your sauce and spaghetti and lots of beautiful flavour.